Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this week's Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Ra and I'm here with Eric Gilliland, the PGA Pro here at the Audubon Country Club in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email and this comes in from Ronnie from Abilene, Texas. And he says, OMG, you know, that's slang, email, you know, texting stuff. So. He says, I am a six handicap and now for some reason I am shanking the ball about every fifth shot. I've tried everything from a full body turn to a short backswing. Please see if you can help me out with this. Everyone in my group I play with has a different idea of what I'm doing wrong, but nothing helps. So if you can please correct this problem quick before the big tourney in November. Eric, what can we do? Well, Ronnie, I, I see this problem with as many low handicappers as high handicappers. And I think the thing to do is to stop listening to the playing partners you have and let's take it on the golf course and get it fixed way before your big tournament in November. That's right. You need to listen to us, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, Ronnie, just remember for your participation in this podcast, you're going to get a free bonnet glove. Now, if you'd like to participate in this, it's really easy. All you've got to do is send us a question, full name, full mailing address. Well, your full name, full mailing address, and whether you're right or left-handed and what size you are. If we use your question in a podcast, we will send you this glove. Well, not this one, but a bionic glove to you. It's that easy. And please tell all your friends to check out the podcast as well at bonnetglove.com. And you can also download it in iTunes and on YouTube. And please leave your feedback in YouTube and iTunes as well as we love seeing what you, you think about what we're doing. Because this is a podcast that's helping us become better golfers on a global level because of guys like Eric, Barry, and Joe and your input. It's, it's, it's really cool. So thank you all for your never-ending support. Now let's go join Eric on the course to see how we can stop from shanking the ball before your big golf tournament. Ronnie, here we are on the golf course, and you can see down here I've got a little prop to help us deal with your shanking problem. As I mentioned, a lot of good players go through this. Um, I really can't explain why that is. It's almost like a virus that infects good players. But uh, here's the way to get out of it. Uh, what a shank is for 99% of golfers is it's the club path in the downswing coming outside in and hitting the hosel of the golf ball, which then makes it shoot off to the right. So intuitive, intuitively, better players think, well, I'm hitting the ball right, I'm going to make more of an effort to hit it left. And you can see the path becomes more and more outside to in, generally becomes more of a decelerating motion out of fear of hitting the golf shot, and we wind up with golf balls that are going further and further right and a lot of unhappy golfers. So what you can do is put anything, this could be a shoebox, a 2 by 4 here I've got a sand bottle, anything that would keep your club from coming in over top the golf ball from the outside in and you want to work on your golf swing being more from your body out in any athletic motion a tennis swing a baseball bat swing you're swinging your bat or racket from your body out golf is no different it's just an athletic motion on a slightly different plane and what i want to do here in my downswing is move the club from my body out and i'll do that right here As you can see, Ronnie, all you're trying to do is get the club on the correct path to get the ball going where you'd like it to. But if you have any more questions about the shank or anything else to do with your golf swing, contact your local PGA professional. And by the way, good luck in your tournament.